Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. It's once Future King here once again. And today I'm going to be doing my reaction to Made in Abyss Season 2, Episode 1. So, this is exciting. This is one of my most anticipated anime of the season. My top two, probably. So this and Overlord that are my top two. I don't know which one I'm anticipating more, but they're both very high up there for me. Alright, now, for those of you who haven't seen me yet, I've done quite a few Made in Abyss videos on my channel, okay? Um, and they usually do pretty well for my channel, getting over 100, maybe even 200 views. Keep in mind, that's, that, that's good for my channel, uh, as someone who has just over, just over 500 subscribers. Alright, um, so I, back in January, I did reactions to... The entire first season of Made in Abyss, plus all three of the movies, the two recap movies plus the third movie that was original. Okay, and I've also reacted to all three of the trailers for season two, plus I did a compilation video of the trailers for season two, and they did pretty good, and I love this series a lot. I can't believe it took me this long to get to this series. Uh... You know, 17, 18, 18. You know, five years, five, five years after season one came out, I finally got to it. Um, and it's been super popular ever since then. But then again, you know what? It took them five years to make a second season. So, you know, I'm not the only one who's not on the fucking ball with this one. All right. But anyways, let's check this out. Then I can't fucking wait any longer. The episode will begin in three, two, one, go. いるにゅうい。私ね。あなたに出会うまで探してたものがあったの。この羅針盤がこの羅針盤が切り続けるところにそれはある。身寄りのない自分を引き取ったこの男は、ひどくろくなものではなく、自分の経歴でただ一つ、主役になった自慢話を、ことの度に聞かせてきたので、よく覚えている。ある薙の日、沖合までりょうに出てきた。being implied there because he was she was naked they were both naked he was holding her down and it's like it looks like she's trying to narrate it with metaphors and shit but <laughs> seems to me pretty obvious there holy shit opening up right away with the fucking darkness huh すでに会話が成り立つ状態ではなかった。なんだこりゃ。寝打ちもんか。うん。羅針盤。うん。その羅針盤が切り続けるある。もうなだ。うちのそこまで続く。He's clearly talking about the abyss. Is this, this is, so has this man been to the abyss and he somehow came out? Or, or are they currently in the abyss? Kind of confused as to what's going on here, but yeah. Holy fucking shit. Oh, this is one of those characters, one of those major characters from the, uh, 
third traitor, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. ただ<笑> So, it kind of seems kind of similar to Overlord Season 4 in the sense that there's no recapping, there's no, like, easing us into it, no. Like, the series begins almost as if it never even ended, which I like that, honestly, a lot. And it, it is not being shy about the fucking darkness either, goddamn. Like, in the first... Well, I'm only five minutes into this. And in the first five minutes, we've been introduced to a kid who has been abused and fucking raped by this old man and, and like, tortured by him. And seems to be like some kind of slave or something on this ship, I'm guessing. And he gets seasick all the goddamn time. It's like... Jesus Christ, holy shit. Okay, yeah, that's interesting. I don't think the series has been 100% clear if they're in the abyss right now or not. You know? Are they in the abyss right now? Because, uh, like, obviously, a sea within the abyss, I can believe that. The abyss is strange as fuck. You know? And is, like, that old man a fucking white whistle? Because if so, then wow, what another pleasant person to be given the position of white whistle once again. The Golden City of the Scorching Sun. Yep. Well, it looks like they have a lot of child slaves here. Yeah, that's what I'll probably be considering them as unless proven otherwise. Especially considering what we saw literally the very, very beginning of the fucking episode. The compass pointed to the darkness. Okay, so is this their first foray into the abyss, or is that just a deeper chasm into the abyss? I'm still kind of confused as to that. If they were already in the abyss or not. But, you know, at the start of the episode, you know. <laughs> what the hell? Is this like a feral child? This... At first glance, I thought she looked kind of similar to the, uh... Kid that was in the second trailer that I reacted to, but looking again, I don't think that she is. Because that kid, I think, had much darker and then longer hair, and f like fur all over her skin too. I think. Oh, so they're going past. Is this the point of no return that we saw at the end of the uh, third movie? At the end of the Maiden Abyss movie? Yes, it is! So now we finally have our main gang back here again. And I'm sure they'll meet the new characters soon enough. <laughs> uh. What is this? Seriously, I think I might have mentioned it um, when I was reacting to the first season. And I don't remember though, but this series reminds me a lot of One Piece. It's just obviously much darker than One Piece. Like, One Piece has this dark moment, but it never gets this dark, as dark as this series again. But just the abyss itself in concept, just how weird it is, reminds me of the world of One Piece so much. I'm seriously considering writing a video about it because 
I don't think I've ever heard anyone else make the comparisons, but I think they're kind of obvious. おお、なんと強いの。この受け皿、汚してもリコ、ロクソニは何があるかわからない。ここでやってしまえ。幸い、イブシコも聞いている。静かな分、よく聞こえるな。ああ。おわ、ナットシーンワズフロムザファーストトレイラー。今度はどうだ。マンツマンツ